as we hand over the site of Cape Karen water supply dam. As you are aware, this county has been facing, and particularly this town, has been facing a shortage of water. And our shortage stands at close to 24,000 uh, cubic meters per day. This Cape Karen water supply dam that is going to be constructed at a cost of almost 1.3 billion Kenya shillings is going to increase the amount of water supplied to this town by 23,000 cubic meters. And that tells you that if this project is completed, we shall only have a short of about 1,000 cubic meters of water. Uh, the project has a potential of expansion to serve this county for another additional of 10 years from 2027 uh, with a capacity increase of another 17,000 cubic meters. So in phase one of this project, that is going to be undertaken by the contractor in this uh, current assignment, it is going to bring in 23,000 cubic meters of water. As we have inspected, we have seen that the dam is intact and it has enough water uh, for us to do the project and to treat it and to send it to the residents of Washington County. This water project that is going to serve parts of Simat Caps Red Ward, uh, almost 80-90% of Langas Ward, uh, about 70 to 60 to 70 percent of Rescos Ward and uh, parts of Kipkenya Ward is going to be a relief to the current water distribution that is coming from Jebara, El Garini and Capsoya treatment works. And we therefore expect that the residents of these areas are not going to be experiencing the shortage and water rationing uh, that we have been implementing in the past to make sure that we distribute water equitably around the town. We've been having challenges uh, for the water and this project that has come actually it will assist and it will help us ease the water problem that we have been experiencing in the Simat Capsaret, Langas, Rescos and even Geria. We are very lucky as a county to have this project from uh, the national government. We are going to inject 23,000 meter cubed per day. That's about 23 million liters per day, which is quite a bit of water. And that is a demand that will be sufficient for the next 40 years. So we feel that uh, it will go a long way in uh, reducing the issues of water uh, within, the, within the town. And you know, as you know, water is an enabler. And uh, this is a town that is growing. We are just next to an airport and you can see already it's a town that is international. So we need to make sure that we provide the necessary water resource to make sure to, to, to spur the economical growth. This project over and above water uh, benefits enabling us to achieve the big four is also a project that is going to capacity build. Our young people have taken courses uh, around water issues. Uh, for the period that this project is going to be on, we expect to bring in interns as county government of Wasingishu who will be trained and later they should be able to manage our so many other small water projects within, within the county and probably even also uh, grow to become contractors so that we have local contractors. This is one project I must thank the Rift Valley Water Services Board and Lake Victoria North Water Services Board for actually sourcing a local contractor. This is the song we have been singing, that we want money to remain within the country, to stimulate the economy of this country so that our economy can grow, we can raise sufficient taxes and we can be able to service other external debts. And we want to encourage the Ministry of Water, all our boards, that if we have local contractors with capacity, let's give them priority when it comes to implementation of our projects. That way, uh, we shall be building our economy uh, and also uh, building our local technical capacity to undertake uh, big projects in the future. It's work that's going to take more than 20 months. We, as a local contractor, we have undertaken projects here in this town. So we have undertaken to... Um, the promise His Excellency the Governor that we are going to do all we can to make sure 
that the project is delivered on time. As we ask the contractor to comply and make sure they deliver the project on time, we also expect Rift Valley Water Services Board and Ministry of Water to pay the contractor on time. We in government have become a bottleneck to the local suppliers and business people and contractors in this country. When we don't pay them on time, the projects lose, they also begin having cash flow challenges, and before you know, the project has stalled, and when the project stalls, you hear the contract has been auctioned, some people lose jobs, we lose our opportunity of building local technical capacity, and we therefore export the jobs to countries who are, know how to take care of their contractors. So I think also as government, we must be sensitive. Those people in Ministry of Treasury, uh, responsible for disbursement of funds, while they want to ask me, if miss, if me see if me see what I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, if me see what I'm going to say, I'm going to say, then we also pay these contractors on time and they deliver the project on time.